a really great sorority party. <laughs> I was at a party with my friends, and I didn't get to go to college because I'm doing this. And uh, her and her sisters, there's like five of them, got together, and they were like, "Here's the da, 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 fuck the man, let's drink toss." And I was like, "That's amazing, do that again." And they're like, "What?" And so they said it to me again. I even called her from the studio to make sure I got it right. And I was like, I can't believe somebody hasn't written a song about that. Like 40, 50 years that that same thing has been going on in sororities. Like not everybody's heard it that was in a sorority, but I've had like 40 year old women remembering it. You know, coming up to me and being like, oh my God, I can't believe you wrote a song about that. And then all we did was fill in the blanks. You know, it's about a girls having fun. I mean, the point is, is like as chicks and sorority parties, anything, all you do is talk about men. Oh, he's freaking me over. Oh, this guy's hot. Oh, I hope he calls. Oh, it's like... This song is like, listen girls, fuck the men for the night, let's drink to us, this isn't about them, it's about us. And then, you know, everybody took it differently, like guys are like, some guys say, oh, you're down in guys, and then the other guys are like, yeah, fuck us, yeah. I'm like, you guys are dorks. My mom was there, <laughs> cheering me on, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah, no, she, uh, she really didn't have a problem with it. There was one section in the video we took out that was pretty disgusting that actually showed somebody's tits. <laughs> And that was the only section my mom immediately was like, that's disgusting. And I was like, okay, we're taking it out. Don't worry about it. Not mine, by the way. Somebody else's. And, uh, but she was kind of like, you know, whatever. She saw the treatments. She knew the deal. She knew what it was about. And uh, this video, it's funny. Everybody's like, oh, the video's risque. I'm like, no, it's not. This was just kind of a party song. This is nothing. Wait until sexy sets and sets them. I can sing a little bit. Yeah, I haven't warmed up at all. All right, um, hmm. Ne cor più non mi sento brillare gioventù Cagione del mio tormento Amor se copa tu There you go. That's a little piece of my... I'm very raspy! <laughs> And then, the thing about the thing about opera is it's very hard. I'm a very raspy talker, raspy singer, so I literally have to warm up for a good 30 minutes and get the raspiness out of my voice and go into my my uh, opera voice before I can usually do it. So that's kind of a mixture voice, but but that's the idea. Yeah. Uh, a couple things. I'm dumb. I think you're blonde, you're cute, and like you do music, you're an idiot. I, they think that I'm just going to be dumb as a box of rocks, and what they don't realize is. Like, it is not easy to run your own career. Like, it is not. And a lot of people in this business don't, and you can tell, but I do. And uh, everything that happens is because I said, I think this should happen. I mean, people bring ideas to me all the time, constructive, you know, meetings and whatnot, and I'll jump on it and say, yeah, let's improve it with this. But people uh, in interviews also think that I'm going to come across as, like, either kind of um, flighty and floozy, like, at the same time, kind of skanky. And, uh, like, I'm just honest. I'm just matter of fact about the issues. Like, you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you the answer. I don't, uh, I don't him haul around things, but I'm definitely not a skank. Like, when uh, Playboy interviewed me and they asked me if I would pose or whatever the other day, and I said no. And they're like, wow, that's not an answer we expected. And I'm like, yeah, hey, what'd you expect? It's like, just because I'll, I'll get right down to it does not mean that I'll give you everything. And um, I think people are shocked by that.